Cheers. Hey guys, welcome to another matcha review video in my little matcha series that I'm doing on my vlog channel. This is episode number two in the series. So if you haven't seen episode one, I would recommend clicking on over there and giving that a watch as well. Also, I do have my hood on because I'm having a bad hair day and I haven't washed my hair in a few days and it is just not cute. So just ignore that. I actually think the hood is kind of like a cute little look. Anyways, for those of you that didn't watch the first video, I will give you a little rundown on how I run these matcha reviews. I'll basically go to either different matcha shops, boba shops, literally anywhere that serves matcha and give an honest review of what I think about it. And you might be thinking, Jada, why are you qualified to be doing matcha reviews like this? Are you a matcha expert? The answer is no, not really. I'm definitely not a matcha expert in the sense that I know all the facts about matcha and everything, but I am a matcha expert in the way that I know how matcha should taste. Not to my own horn or anything, but I liked matcha before matcha was so mainstream. I've literally been drinking matcha since I was like eight years old. And I don't mean to be one of those girls that's like, I like this first. I was the one who I didn't discover. I know I didn't discover matcha, but like I just have to tell the world that I have been such a fan of matcha since it was a mainstream thing. Like I literally would get so excited every time I saw a boba shop or somewhere serve matcha when I was younger because it was like so hard to come across. But now you can literally find it at like any coffee shop. Yeah, that's why I think I'm qualified to make these videos. Even if I wasn't qualified to make these videos, who cares? It's the internet, just do whatever you want. I like matcha, I like making these videos. So if you don't like it, just click out. It's as easy as that. One more thing I wanted to mention before we get into the actual meat of this video, I did film this a while ago. Honestly, some of these clips are from like August and September and it's currently January. These are literally from like last year, almost six months ago. So if like the weather looks different or if my outfits look different and more summery, that's the reason why. But yeah, just like, know that I filmed this a very long time ago and I'm just getting to put this together. So yeah, without further ado, let's get into the reviews. Hey guys, welcome to the first matcha review in my second episode of reviewing every matcha. Today we are at Raised by Lions Coffee in Tustin. I got an iced coconut vanilla matcha with oat milk. All right, I will admit this matcha was quite expensive. I have the receipt right here. I think this is the most expensive matcha I have ever had in my entire life. The matcha itself was $6, but then I added oat milk, which made it a dollar more. Adding the coconut vanilla sweetener was 75 cents more, which made the drink total 7.75, which by itself is a very expensive matcha drink. But then there's sales tax, which is 60 more cents. So the total was 8.35, which is kind of insane to me. This better be one of the best matchas I've ever tasted because she was a pretty penny. Let's go ahead and do the actual taste. Cheers. Mm. <laughs> you guys, I'm disappointed. The thing is, I feel like I can literally taste the matcha powder. Like it's kind of powdery. It's not that good. I'm so sad to report. The matcha presence, honestly though, like the matcha presence is very strong, but because it's so powdery, like that's why it's strong. I don't want to give it a 10 because it's not like a good 10. So I'm giving it like an eight, eight and a half. Let's go with eight. Overall drink, I'm going to have to give a four out of 10. And it's expensive. I wasn't expecting it to be this expensive, you guys. Not the best, but I'm still gonna drink it. Sorry, Raised by Lions. I don't know, maybe their coffee is better. Okay, little summary. Drink, $8.35. Insane. Matcha presents, 8 out of 10. Overall drink, unfortunately, 4 out of 10. Sorry. <laughs> We are at 
our next matcha place i have a guest a friend with me this is my friend jesse yes. she also loves matcha I and do. is this your first time trying yeah, matcha from here my first time at coffee Dose. okay we are currently at coffee Dose, specifically the box location they have like a lot of different cute locations and they're so unique but i'm trying a new matcha drink from them today this is their version of their strawberry matcha and i'm pretty harsh when i rate strawberry matchas because they're like my favorite matcha drink but i feel like you have to be extra hard at this place because they're so popular they are very popular but like despite like the the rating of the drink like i just think the vibes the aesthetic really are just like cute, yeah. honestly worth coming here for the experience okay, okay so how much was your matcha it was 750 okay yeah they're actually pretty expensive yeah. here but what did you get wait what did you get okay i got an iced matcha sweetened with vanilla with almond milk and cinnamon cheers i'm gonna have you try yours first okay so rate it based on it's good the matcha presence like how much does it taste like matcha the matcha presence isn't there as much oh like out of 10. i think you can tell because like it's lighter yeah it's so a it's little bit milky. of a lighter color i would say like a seven okay I what about the overall it. drink out of 10. yeah a seven out of ten okay, okay. matcha presence like a six out of 10. okay matcha presence six out of ten yeah. but overall seven okay i'm gonna try this i don't know if i should i'm gonna try to mix it honestly this just tastes like strawberry no matcha presence like no matcha presence um wait matcha presence i would say is like a two or three out of ten like it genuinely just tastes like a strawberry milk drink mm, really but the overall drink i would give a seven and a half out of ten this was seven dollars also okay. that's like kind of expensive yeah but it did come with like oat milk and everything so i don't know okay your overall summary you gave it matcha presence six out of ten yeah. drink seven out of ten and then the total was like 750 yeah okay and then mine was matcha presents two out of ten drink seven and a half out of ten and then the price was like seven cheers, cheers. <laughs> another friend came to join okay yours looks more matcha yeah than matcha presents what's your matcha presents rating i'll be like a five because it's like matcha water like it's okay like matcha. okay what? not like a creamy matcha overall drink rating probably five and it costs eight dollars <laughs> 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 All right, first stop we are making is at Quality Boba. As you can see behind me, I picked up a strawberry matcha latte. You guys, look at how beautiful. Can we just give a moment for this matcha? I actually came to this boba shop a lot, specifically for their strawberry matcha during COVID when I lived back home in Northern California. I haven't had it in a really long time, so I want to rate it again and give an honest rating, but I think it's gonna be good because i used to get it a lot so we're gonna start off with the price this was 7.26 i actually didn't order boba in it but they gave me boba anyways so that's a win and then i got it with oat milk it does come with like a matcha cold foam on top which i'm i love i'm i'm here for it so i think i'm just gonna try a little bit of the matcha cold foam first cheers mm okay all right matcha presents is honestly 10 out of 10 this just literally tastes straight up like matcha but let's mix it all up and see how she stands okay i can remember why i liked this drink so much matcha presents of the overall drink six or seven out of ten it's not very high but it's there for sure it's unlike other strawberry matchas where i've gotten a strawberry matcha and it literally just tastes like strawberry milk it's honestly a pretty solid strawberry matcha i've gotten this so many times in the past so i would definitely recommend it all right time for the overall summary the price was 726 the matcha presence was a 6 out of 10 and the overall drink rating was an 8 out of 10. Francisco. I am at one of my favorite 
cafe here at SF. It's called Calm Cafe. It literally is the cutest cafe. Honestly, they have the best drink. They have such a wide variety. I'm gonna insert some pictures here because their lattes are very unique and cute and Instagrammy. Sarah's here. She just got her coffee. So I just got a plain matcha for here because I want to rate it and see. I feel like because we're in SF and there's a lot of Asian culture here, I felt like the matcha here might be pretty good. And then I also got in here a matcha mochi muffin, which very much intrigued me and I want to see how much this tastes like matcha actually. But I just got a plain matcha with oat milk, no sweetener or anything. I kind of just wanted to taste it how it is. And this cost $7. It was just like $6 for the matcha itself and then another dollar for oat milk. Cheers! Oh, that's pretty good. Yeah. Okay, yeah, she's cream. She's nice and creamy. I wasn't even recording. Uh -oh. Okay, you guys, I'm so sorry if that audio was terrible. I forgot to record, hit record on my little phone mic, but hopefully it's a lot better now. Oh, I'm so sorry. Okay, anyways, this is very good. Very creamy. I love the creaminess. The matcha presence is honestly a 9 out of 10. It's very much there, and I very much like it. Overall drink, 9 out of 10. Honestly, this is so good. Okay, here's the matcha mochi muffin. Let's give her a try. Mmm. Okay. Yeah. I don't know how much it tastes like matcha though. Like, it's honestly just a good baked item. I would give this a 7 out of 10. We are at Blue Bottle Coffee now in SF. I just got a plain matcha with oat milk, and I think this cost. 676. I know they have blue bottles in like LA and Orange County, but I specifically wanted to rate it here, specifically in San Francisco, because it literally originated here. So I thought it was only right to do it in its hometown. Cheers. Oh. So I've actually tried blue bottle before and I knew I liked it, but I kind of haven't had it in a while. And oh my gosh, this is honestly like the creamiest, yummiest matcha. I will say matcha presence is probably like a eight. It's not the strongest, but it's honestly like a perfect amount. Overall, nine out of 10. It is a little odd how it comes in like a hot cup. It's always come like this, but I don't mind it. Okay, we have another matcha review at Sunrite. I have reviewed Sunrite's strawberry tea before but selena convinced me to try their matcha brulee so it's, i think it's just matcha tea with oat milk and brulee around the cup which is very interesting this costs six dollars and thirty cents which honestly isn't bad for like a huge drink like this i didn't shake it yeah, 17 you to, times you, got, you gotta shake it it's gonna be so bad <laughs> it's okay it's gonna be fine okay matcha presents six and a half or seven out of ten okay pretty average overall drink six and a half out of ten really? <laughs> yeah it's like it's not what i expected selena's gonna try it seems pretty presents. watered down yeah yes right. okay yeah it doesn't yeah. taste like creamy yeah i don't really taste matcha at all ending thoughts don't forget to shake it 17 yeah, times, 17 times. times maybe well. that was my issue all right, you guys, that is it for this matcha review video. If you guys have a favorite matcha place, go ahead and comment it down below and I'll see if there's a location near me and then I'll probably go out and try it for my next video. Or if there's any places like in LA, Orange County that you guys haven't tried that you want me to try for you, comment it down below and I will gladly do that. Any excuse to drink matcha is a good excuse to me, to be honest. Um, and yeah, literally comment whatever else you want on this video. It honestly makes me really happy when people comment because it makes this just feel so real. I'm like, wow, people are actually watching my videos and like staying till the end. And I don't know, I don't know, it's kind of weird. I don't know, I'm just like going on a rant, so. Yeah, if you stayed till the end, I genuinely appreciate it so much It literally means so much to me that you sat through this entire video or even if you skipped over it Thank you just for browsing through it. Um, anyways enough with the rambling. I will just see you guys in my next vlog. Bye